Hello and welcome to Billingsgate Roman House and Baths. My name's Andrew Lane and would you believe 20 feet below where I'm standing we have one of London's most amazing hidden gems. The discovery of Billingsgate Roman House and Baths dates back to 1848 when it was decided they were going to construct a coal exchange on this site. Now unusually for the Victorians, when they dug down and they found Roman remains, they decided that instead of digging through them, they were actually going to preserve them. And we think that may have been at the instigation of the architect of the Coal Exchange, who was also the city's architect, James Bunstone Bunning. I love that name. And then the story moves on. In 1859, warehouses adjacent to the Coal Exchange were redeveloped and they uncovered more of the bath complex. And likewise, those were also preserved. Then moving on a century, in 1968, it was decided that Lower Thames Street was going to be enlarged. And in order to do this, they had to demolish the coal exchange. That gave a chance for the archeologists to come in and more of the site was uncovered then. I just wanted to give you an overview of the site and it consists of a large house built towards the end of the second century AD with two, possibly three wings. So a large U-shaped Roman house with a courtyard garden just behind me here, which would have had views over the River Thames. And in the third century AD, they inserted a small Roman bathhouse into that garden area. For me, this is the highlight of the site, and what it consists of is three main rooms. Now this was the hot room, the coldarium, and beyond that we have another room, very similar to the one that we have here, and that room is the tepidarium. The third room, the largest room, is the frigidarium, the cold room. And what's really amazing to me is the central heating system that we have here, the hypercool system. And I like to think that this is one of the reasons that the architect, James Bunstone Bunning, decided to preserve the bathhouse because he could appreciate the Roman engineering that we have here. As an archeologist, I think our Roman bathhouse is incredibly well preserved, but I realize it does take a little bit of imagination to think what it would have looked like 2000 years ago. So we have this wonderful model to help you do that. And just over here, we have the caldarium. We've got the passageway, which was connected to the main villa complex. We've got the warm room on this side, and then the largest room, the cold room on this side. All in all, I think Billingsgate Roman House and Baths really is one of the most interesting hidden gems in London.